to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a purple smoky eye. Um, I had the idea from the new Anastasia Artist Palette. Looks like this. Has a lot of great fun colors in it. I talked about it on my first video, my Sephora haul video, and said that it would be really great to do like a smoked out under eye. But you know what? I was in the mood to just do a full colorful eye. So... Um, I have brown eyes, so, well, as you already see, but brown eyes go really great with purple, so I thought, why not go ahead and film a really colorful, smoky eye for you. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll go ahead and get into the video. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! Alright, so starting off with a clean face, I just want to say, just in case anyone is wondering... I did get my wisdom teeth taken out, so that is why half of my face looks a little bit swollen. So we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Blonde. Um, this is what I normally use on just a day-to-day -day basis because it really stays in place, and it's my favorite way to do my brows. So comb those out with a spoolie brush, and then just keep going back in. I know I keep saying this, but the next video after this video will actually be my eyebrow tutorial. I was putting it off trying to get those things waxed. So then we're going in with a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow base in the color Bone. This is what I've been using instead of the MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pot, but I actually got a refill or a new one. So this will probably be the last time that you see this on my eyes. And then next going in with the peach smoothie from makeup geek you guys know this is my holy grail and you probably won't ever see me start my eye look without using this color so i'm going in with a tapered blending brush by sigma and just putting that on the crease a transition color just basically means it's the color that you're going to lay down so that way you can blend the rest of the colors in seamlessly then I'm going in with the next shade. This is also by Makeup Geek. And I will leave all of the shades down below in the comment box. As well as the links to all the places that you can get the makeup. Oh wow. <laughs> and then the last one I'm going in is with Chickadee. It's also by Makeup Geek. I know it probably seems like I'm taking a lot of steps as far as my eyeshadows and my crease. But I was honestly a little bit nervous um, to do this smoky eye because I hadn't really... Um, did a colorful smoky eye in a while, so I just wanted to make sure that I had a really good um, crease color. So then I'm taking the Rimmel Scandal Eyes, and that's just a white base color, and I'm putting that on my lid to make it pop. And then we're going in with the Anastasia Artist Palette. So the first color that I'm taking is actually called Punch Fuchsia. It's a really nice purple color. And I'm packing that on my lid with the MAC 242 brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. I actually talked it, about it in my previous video if you haven't already seen that. So it's just a really awesome brush to pack on the lid color. Then I'm going in with Blue Velvet. It's a navy color. And I'm putting that in the outer crease and just kind of buffing that back in. And then that way you have a more defined crease and it's laying over top of the rest of the colors that we put down at the beginning. I know it probably looks a little bit fast, but I actually sped this part up. So if you ever wonder why it looks like I do my makeup super fast, that is why. Because it would definitely not be eight minutes if you've seen me do this whole routine. Then I'm going back in with that blending brush by Sigma. And then I'm going back in with the blue color. And I'm just rotating back and forth. I'm packing the color on and then I'm blending it out. My best advice is if you're doing a smoky eye and it's not what you like, just go ahead and keep blending because at some point it will get to the point where you like it. So I'm taking that Maybelline gel eyeliner and just doing my wing liner. Of course, I'm going in with my Sigma E06 brush to do this. Like this video or comment below if you guys would be interested in seeing a wing liner tutorial. There's a couple different tricks that I use on a normal basis. So then I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and the Josie Maron highlighter and I'm putting that on with a base. I'm mixing that um, luminizer in with a base to put that as my primer. And it did make my skin really glowy. And then I'm taking that uh, Lumi by L'Oreal and my Beauty Blender. To be honest with you guys, I'm really impressed by that foundation. Um, I've been wanting the Giorgio Armani foundation. And I just haven't brought myself to pay the price for it yet. But I think that this is a really good dewy foundation. Especially just to give yourself a healthy glow. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. 
I've heard so many great things about this concealer and I really liked it. So I'm putting it underneath my under eyes just to give me one to cover up the dark circles and then also to give me a little bit more of a highlighted look. Um, and then I'm just going to take my beauty blender on the other side and blend that out so that way it kind of blends into the skin. So I'm just going to tap that in and then I'm going to go in with my tried and true emphasized by MAC and the Anastasia banana color. You can actually get those pans separately so that's why I have them in just a little Z palette. So I'm going to put that underneath my eye just to set the concealer so that way it doesn't crease or settle into fine lines. And then I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown bronzer. I was so upset before I went to film this video. I went and got all my stuff and like walked it over to the space that I filmed and I had it all stacked up because I was in a hurry and I dropped the dang bronzer on the floor and it broke and I hadn't even used it yet. But you know what? It's okay. I'm still going to make it work. I mean, no reason to cry over spilt bronzer. I mean, not really, but then I'm going in with a matte blush and just putting that right on the cheeks. Um, this is a really pretty natural color and I didn't want to do anything too bold with the fact that we're doing a smoky eye and then I'm going in with a Laura Mercier uh, highlighter I absolutely love this highlighter it reminds me of the Bobbi Brown pink glow highlighter that came out over Christmas and I that highlighter is just absolutely to die for and you can't find it anywhere else and then I'm going in with the uh, Miss Manga mascara I didn't actually include this part just because it looks a little bit funny with me doing my eyelashes. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a definer brush and I'm putting that color right underneath the bottom of my eye. Not my waterline, but right underneath and packing it really closely to my eye. And then I'm taking a pencil brush and the color Unicorn and just blending that color out. So as you can see, it's a little bit hard to not blink your eyes while you're doing this step. But that way, um, it's blended out and it doesn't look like you have any harsh lines underneath your eye. And then last step on the mascara train is going to be to take the Matte Giga Black Lash. This is my favorite under eye lash mascara and just coat those bottom lashes. I'm next taking Soar by MAC as my lip liner and I'm just outlining my lips. Typically I fill in my lips completely and I feel like that helps my lipstick stay on a lot better. So I'm just lining those in completely and then I'm going in with the color uh, Honey Love by MAC to give me a nice nude lip and I'm topping that off with a little bit of lip gloss by MAC. And I'm not sure the color of this lip gloss, but like I said, I will leave everything down below in the description bar so that way you guys have it if you want to try any of these products out. And there is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Yeah.